imagine a jet of lava shooting higher than the Eiffel Tower. That's exactly what happened when Mount Kilauea, one of the most active volcanoes in the world, unleashed its power once again on May 25th. This spectacular eruption blasted lava over a thousand feet into the air, even reaching up to 5,000 feet, about 1,500 meters, according to the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. The eruption took place in the Halema'uma'u crater, located in the summit caldera of Kilauea, inside Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, roughly 200 miles southeast of Honolulu. Even though it occurred in a closed-off area, the intensity was still alarming. This marks the 23rd eruption episode since ongoing activity resumed in December 2024. Scientists are on high alert. Kilauea's eruptions are notoriously unpredictable, able to shift from calm to deadly in just a matter of hours. And remember, this national park is also home to Mauna Loa the largest active volcano on Earth, which last erupted in 2022. At the summit of Kilauea, more dangers loom. Cracked ground, unstable craters, and the risk of rock falls after earthquakes. This area has been closed to the public since 2007 for safety reasons. Most eruptions from Halema'uma'u crater are brief, often lasting just a few hours to a day, followed by quiet periods before the next activity. Kilauea is one of six active volcanoes in Hawaii, located on the Big Island. As one of the world's most active volcanoes, its fiery displays continue to attract global attention. In fact, the USGS now streams the eruptions live on YouTube, so the world can watch in real time. Meanwhile, in the western United States, Yellowstone Caldera is showing a much calmer face. Throughout April 2025, there were 46 small earthquakes in the area, the largest being a magnitude 1.8. No earthquake swarms have been recorded, and there are no signs of increased volcanic activity. Measurements also show a slight drop in ground level about three centimeters since last October, continuing a trend that's been ongoing since 2015. On April 14th, Steamboat Geyser, the tallest geyser in the world, erupted for the second time this year. Since then, it's quieted down again, but experts believe minor activity may return in early May. May also marks the beginning of the field season in Yellowstone National Park. Geologists are now gathering data around the Mud Volcano area and installing new GPS stations to monitor ground movement. Yellowstone remains a top priority for long-term monitoring. This caldera holds one of the most complex volcanic systems on Earth, and it's closely watched by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Not far from there, Steamboat, Geyser, Giant of the Norris Geyser Basin, remains a hot topic for scientists. Since it reawakened in March 2018, 
The geyser once erupted almost weekly at its peak between 2019 and 2020. Although it's quieter now, research on Steamboat continues. Scientists are seizing this moment to explore many mysteries. From eruption, timing patterns, to underground water pathways using seismometers, and even the sounds of steam blasts using special microphones, all in pursuit of one goal, understanding this elusive geyser before it roars back to life. As you walk through Yellowstone's geyser basins, there's one eerie sight you can't ignore. Trees that seem unable to survive the scalding earth. When thermal features form, the boiling silica-rich ground and water kill nearby vegetation and prevent new growth. Yet interestingly, some trees are preserved by silica deposits, slowing decay and offering clues to past geyser activity. A recent study found that steamboats' eruptions have a powerful impact on surrounding lodgepole pines. Trees just 14 to 24 meters from the vent show signs of extreme stress, like dead branches and thinning canopies. The active phase since 2018 has even been linked to tree deaths up to 250 meters from the vent, much farther than impact seen during earlier phases in the 1960s and 1980s. This is likely due to the increased eruption frequency, sending blasts of water and steam farther than before, combined with rising ground temperatures. Geysers may look peaceful and beautiful, but just like volcanoes, they have the power to reshape landscapes and lives forever.